superhero games have been always, well, a bit disappointing. There were some good ones and some bad ones. The reason most of these superhero games failed because they never made you feel like you were the superhero. Until the awesomeness known as Batman Arkham Asylum was released. It was dark, edgy, had a great atmosphere, a great story, and great voice acting. Then, Arkham City came out. It was overrated as fuck, but it was still decent, I guess. And then it was announced a third game would come out, but Rocksteady was not being involved. Neither was Mark Hamill or Kevin Conroy. So, yeah, I was really skeptical about this one. But, unfortunately, it was a bit disappointing. This game is neither what the title promises. It's not an origin story or anything to do with Arkham. But they had to call it Arkham something because people wouldn't know what they're playing. So, let's dive in. The story opens up with our hero Batman on Christmas Eve. Batman decides to go off and save the commissioner and our shit begins. I mean, game begins. Wait, isn't this a prequel? Because Batman's wearing body armor. Why did he wear a different kind of suit in, like, the future? I mean... Isn't body armor like better? Why was he wearing it before than after? Oh, I just hope there isn't more continuity errors in this game. Please. Anyway, Batman goes to save the commissioner. Yeah, Killer Croc looks a bit less threatening than in Arkham Asylum. Maybe he hasn't just hit puberty yet. I don't know. Now the thing I will give this game is it's combat. It's as good as the previous Arkham games. So we get our first boss battle in the game and you know what? I have to admit, these boss battles in this game are the only improvement that this game has over the last two. The boss, where's he going? The boss of me is me. I want answers! Wait till Black Mask's assassins get through with you. What assassin? Maybe if you stop punching every time you finish a sentence, then maybe you'll get some answers. So we learned that Black Mask hired assassins to kill Batman. No, not these assassins. Even though it would have made more sense because they would probably beat Batman. Or uh, whatever. Uh, is that supposed to be weird? So now Batman's going after the Penguin's arm dealer. But first, we have to go through a whole city. Sounds. Boring. The whole fucking city. And here's one of my biggest problems with this game. Bigger isn't always better. Gotham City is huge and much bigger than Arkham City. But when Arkham City served a purpose to the story and it felt alive, Gotham is filled with criminals but no people to save. What's the point of it then? Back to the game. I think that guy might be from Call of Duty Ghosts, but I'm not too sure. I have to ask him. I swear, burn to me. Wake up. Where were the other drugs going? Batman goes after the penguin. Batman gets through some guards and tugs and apparently takes an infinite flight. 
to a black hole. Yeah, if you notice, this game is full of bugs and glitches. It really annoys you that I had to restart the whole fucking game all over again for this bug to go away. Fuck you. Ah. So after that technical problem, Batman catches up to the penguin but finds one of the assassins. Electrocutioner, and oh man, I can't wait for this. Batman is going to kick his ass. And Wow, that has to be the toughest boss battle since Mysterio from Spider-Man 2. I mean, just look at this. Who would ever hire such a guy like this? Just make that fight into a montage of his ass getting kicked. Batman finds Penguin, but he is ambushed by another assassin called Deathstroke, and we have a proper boss fight. And holy shit, it gets repetitive quickly. All you do is counter his attacks and then wait for the right moment to strike. So Deathstroke fires some kind of rope that attaches to an explosive, so you have to counter and counter and counter. What are you? I'm Batman. So, after the fight, a penguin gets away and Batman just stands there when he clearly can just use his grapple hook to pull Penguin down or throw a battering at him or something. But no, this Batman must examine a weapon that Deathstroke has instead. Oh my god, he's worse than Nico Bellic when he had a chance to kill Dimitri. Batman goes to check on the murder, which he believes might have been Black Mask, and scans the room, and... You know, if Batman had this kind of scanning program, then why didn't he have used it before? And such things like when he was trapped in Arkham Asylum or Arkham City. You'd think the scanning program would have saved him a lot of trouble solving these crime scenes. So Batman solves this crime. The Joker. He's the shadow I've been chasing. And yes, he did just say the Joker. <laughs> Think you can just waltz under my bank, huh? Roman, I'm here for the Joker. The Joker? <laughs> Never heard of him. How about you, dog? Know the Joker? The who? <laughs> and you, sir? Name Joker? Ring a bell? <laughs> you son of a bitch! You think you can steal from me? Get away with it! You're a dead man. Dead! And you shall play along! You're insane! You've been running Sionis' operation. Well, technically it's my operation now. 
Isn't that right, boys? You got me. Now let her go. Oh, life would be so simple if you were all I wanted. No, no. You're just a teeny little distraction compared to what I've got on my sleeve. <laughs> So yeah, the Joker once again is the main antagonist. <sighs> Where do I possibly start? First of all, the Joker was the main villain for the other two Arkham games, so why does he have to be the main villain in this? Second, Joker died in Arkham City. Yeah, I know this is a prequel, and Mark Hamill did retire from his role, but and we really have to rely on Joker once again. I mean, it kind of loosens the impact of the ending of the last game. Not to say I don't have fun watching him, because I do. But man, just like everyone else, I was disappointed that the Joker was the villain again. Maybe if he was a side character, then I'd probably be okay with it. Just not the main villain again. And I do think that the voice actor Troy Baker did a really good job on the Joker and he does everything Joker is supposed to he laughs, he says cliche lines, he even sings Black Mask Batman interrogates a thug for Black Mask's whereabouts Stop! Where's the Joker going? Guy's nuts, man. Killed about a quarter of Black Mask's men when they wouldn't take orders from him. Unless you want to join them, talk. He said something about the steel mill. That's Sionis's mill. <laughs> it's Joker's mill now. Ain't no way you're getting in there. I didn't ask for your opinion. Okay, first of all, what is it with this guy? I mean, I know Batman is serious and all, but he's not Dirty Harry for Christ's sake. How did this Batman in a few years become this Batman? Of course not. After a while, Batman goes to the steel mill where Black Mask is being held. Okay, you know something? This isn't Batman. This is Batman. Now I'm not talking about the college humor comedy shorts, even those were pretty funny, but no, I'm talking about this Batman, and how he, he is such a goddamn miserable shit, and from now on, I'm gonna call him Batman. So Copperhead, one of the assassins, poisons Batman. While Black Mask escapes, and now Batman has to get an antidote quickly, or else he dies. He scans the room for a sample of the poison, and he actually does. What the fuck? Why would a professional assassin make a mistake like this? Well, now I can see where this is going. What's he doing? Oh, just standing there. Oh, shut up. It was your fault. You got killed. Let me die. How many more must perish before you realize? You savior, you're a curse upon this city. A plague on all of Gotham. Leave us alone! We were better off without you. I will be alive. 
Yeah, sure you would. Please, you have to save me. Please. <laughs> so we get ready for another boss battle. Oh gosh. I'm sure Batman can't win this time because he's dying, but he still beats her. Maybe you should work a bit more on that poison of yours. So he locks her up and heads to find the Joker. So later on, our villains have a meeting. Friends, assassins. Welcome to our first quarterly performance review. As you can see here, Batman deaths are coming in far below projections. <laughs> Welcome to Batman Arkham Origins. As you can see here, we have gone from awesome to complete shit. <laughs> Turn this around. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> Got that, Mr. Cushioner? Just who the hell are you? I'm the guy with the money and the gun. <laughs> you to kill the Batman. You should... Shut the hell up and kill the Batman! So do you have anything else to contribute? This is Sparta! Well, I guess Joker knew that he was useless. I mean, after that almost impossible boss battle. Ah, uh, don't make me. Mm. Mm. This fruitcake is fantastic. Anyone want a piece? Coming soon to McDonald's. The Joker Fruitcake. I'm loving it. All right, meetings adjourned. Get out there and kill the bat. Move it along, big boy. No. He's coming for you now, and when he gets here, I'm going to kill him. So you wait. <laughs> well, this should be interesting. <laughs> Is it me or does Bane sound like Harry from Team Fortress 2? For you now, and when he gets here, I'm going to kill him. So you wait. Ugh. He's my parasol. You have one minute. I've long waited for this moment. With your death, I will find peace. But you will. You will fight me with all your resolve, or you will die. Someone is going to die. You, me, or the clown. The question of which one of us it is, is in your hands. <laughs> we lose, but they do not win. Everyone loses! <laughs> oh. Fire, fire, fire! Oh my god, 
Well, he's obviously holding on to the landing gear, you dumb moron. Batman fights his way to get to the Joker only to be thrown around by Bane. But the Joker has some alone time with Batman first. Nice of you to drop in. <coughs> and just in time. Oh, he's my parasol. <laughs> Remember, you gave your word. You have one minute. Do they even have manners where he comes from? <laughs> you see, it's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas Eve. Hmm. How about this one? Did you just take it? None! I think? That was just a little stocking stuffer. A construction site blocking my view. <laughs> <laughs> but this one isn't. <laughs> but Brain interrupts and looks like he is going to break Batman's back. Oh. So, Batman eventually fights Bane after a brief confrontation with the Joker. And yeah, the boss battle is pretty cool. Well, at least he isn't constantly charging at you for an obvious attack. After the police show up and the Joker starts shooting the helicopters down, and how the hell can they not hit him? The Joker is then blown away and Batman has to catch him. So Batman... Yes, he got away. Take him to Blackgate. Where'd he go? Huh? The bat. The partner. <laughs> My partner? else would jump off a building to save your sorry ass? You know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself. At Blackgate, the Joker meets who we all know is going to be Harley Quinn in the future, and we have a sort of flashback to the origins of Joker, and I'm not gonna lie, this sequence is the best sequence in the game. My name's Harleen. 
Hallin Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Hani? Oh, ha. I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Hani, you got one now. So after that awesome sequence, we are returned to Batman, also in a flashback telling what happened to him and why he became Batman. After a while, Alfred gets tired of Bruce Wayne having to be Batman and almost getting himself killed, so they argue. Batman goes to the location of his tracker that he placed on Bane earlier. He finds the tracker and finds out Bane knows he is Bruce Wayne. So, how did he figure it out? I don't know. It's never explained. But Batman later gets informed that Firefly, one of the assassins, has hostages and will blow up the bridge to get Batman's attention. Batman heads out to stop him and he confronts Gordon, not to let his men go on the bridge, but wait, why does this Gordon look that much different in this game than in Arkham Asylum? I never bothered looking into this, and how many years this game takes place before Arkham Asylum? Well, according to Wikipedia, the game takes place five years before Asylum. Five years? So Batman defuses all the bombs except for one which detonates. Oh, and all of the passcodes for detonating the bombs have something to do with fire. Batman confronts Firefly and... The Iceman cometh. I'm afraid that my condition has left me cold to your pleas of mercy. After Batman finally defeats Firefly, he confronts Gord. You didn't listen. Not big on taking orders from wanted men. I'm not big on taking orders from cops. I should have gotten to that last bomb. Yeah. And I should have given you access to that security door. But between the two of us, we covered it pretty well. Get used to it. Batman flies to the Batcave to discover Bane was there and he destroyed everything and left Alfred for dead. But Batman electric shocks him and restores Alfred back. So they finally come to terms with Bruce being Batman and they find out Joker has been taken over Blackgate. So Batman suits up and goes to save the night. Batman saves some of the hostages and goes to confront Joker. Chance to let me die, and you didn't take it. <laughs> I bet right now you're wishing you had. I've killed a lot of people. <laughs> I brought the city to its knees, crippled the police force, and it's not even time to unwrap our presents. I killed your girlfriend, poisoned Gotham in hell. <laughs> it's not even breakfast. Let's do this. Okay, okay. So. What our friend Bane holds in his hand is a heart monitor. Once he clamps it on, every beat of his bacon little heart will charge the battery on this electric chair. And when it's fully charged... So either you kill Bane, 
No. I won't kill him. But you will. You will fight me with all your resolve, or you will die. Someone is going to die. You, me, or the clown. The question of which one of us it is, is in your hands. So we get to the final battle against Barry. Even though after all of this, you think Bane's heart would have already charged the electric chair. Don't move! Maybe you should move. Oh, good lord. Careful, Jim. When that chair goes off, that's 2,000. I wouldn't do it no if I were <laughs> <laughs> Jim, 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 have a seat, Jimbo. We'll fry together like two little potato latkes. Batman shocks Bane to stop his heart, making Joker think he killed him. He did it! <laughs> the game is over, Joker. Let Captain Gordon go. Yeah. Put the gun down, freak. How about I put you down? Gordon! Well, that's the Christmas spirit. <laughs> well, I'd love to stay and celebrate your victory, but I've got stockings to stuff, mistletoe to hang, and about 15 skyscrapers to blow up before sunrise. Ciao! <laughs> Bad man restores Bane's heart, but he is ready to kill him. Yeah, even though Batman himself said in Arkham Asylum that he never fought Bane that was so powerful before. Worried. Bane seemed even more powerful than usual. <laughs> Worried. Bane seemed even more powerful than usual. <laughs> Batman finally takes out Bane, defeating him once and for all, making him have memory loss. How convenient. Batman heads out to finally stop.
one way to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> so Batman finally captures Joker. The city deserves better than that. You know, my daughter thinks you're a hero. But I still have to bring you in. Gordon, come in. What's your 20? I'm in the chapel. We got the Joker. Son of a bitch. You caught him. Then how did you do that? I had some help. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is I let him go because of you. No, you didn't let him go. He got a worry. Stop making up lies. His heart. That is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. So that was Batman Arkham Origins. Meh. The boss fights were great. The combat was good. Bane was pretty cool. I think he's. This is the best. Uh, interpretation of Bane so far. And then you have the Joker. Even though it is disappointing to see him be the main villain again, there is no doubt he was by far the most entertaining part of the game. But the story is not that interesting and it doesn't make a lot of sense. The city is big but that's all that can be said about it. And then you have the glitches. Enough said. In the end, Batman Arkham Origins is a letdown, but it's not terrible, it's okay-ish. And it is the worst of the three, but I say it's worth playing once at least to, see, to experience the full Arkham Trilogy. But I hear they're making a new game, Arkham Knight. And the developers of Rocksteady are coming back to make this one final game. And I'm actually pretty curious to see it. Maybe the new game will actually not rely on the Joker anymore. And it will be a satisfying finale. And maybe it will finally not be a disappointment like the other two games. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I feel excuse me, I'm gonna go freeze myself until Arkham Knight comes out.